look here, let's go to page 58. Page 58. Oh, try and carry your tour book. Okay, you can check on your electronics. You have electronics one, so please. Yeah. Let's go to page 58. The thing if it, uh, if you download the uh, PDF version of the tour book, oh, yeah. regardless if you have internet yeah, or not, yeah, yeah. you can use it. Page 58. And um, today is uh, day two, but we'll start from day one. And uh, my dear sister here will be our volunteer to read it for us. And then we all go through three times. Then after that, will maybe just a minute to dilate on whatever we have said and then we'd like to know your idea about what you have said about the affirmation your own idea if people have different ideas so we share the idea that you have whatever you will say will let someone or will let someone stands very strong so we need those ideas too. Thank you. Are you all ready? Yes. I better have to use the book. Okay. Which one? Day one. Yes. Day one. Day one. Every day is magnificent and wonderful. And every day I'm getting better and better. And African people are getting better. Okay. Now, Shay, so so you go three times, so but you take your time, one after the other. Every day Let's is respond. magnificent. Okay, okay, what if, when she says it, we also have to respond. Every day is magnificent. Every day is magnificent. And wonderful. And wonderful. And every day I'm getting better. And every day I'm getting better. And better. And better. And African people are getting better. And African people are getting better. Every day. Every day. Is magnificent. Is magnificent. And wonderful. And wonderful. And every day. And every day. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And better. And better. And African people. And African people. Are getting better. Are getting better. Ashe. Ashe. Thank you so much. Now, let's just pause for 30 seconds. Think about what we have said. How does it imply to you? What are your thoughts? What are your ideas? I'll bring the mic around. It cannot get back there, but at least now we have a long call. Good morning. What it means to me is every day that I'm above ground is getting better. It has the opportunity to get better and better. Hmm. Thank you. Yes, there's someone else. Good morning. Uh, for me, I think you, uh, the power of words is very powerful, so you speak your life and your existence by saying certain things and certain affirmations, so you bring in uh, words to power. So for me, with saying that affirmation, it is. Thank you. Midasi. Thank you means Midasi. Uh, whilst on tour, we'll also be learning some Akan language. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a, a market. Um, this place is called Medina. Um, Medina. The name Medina. When you hear the name Medina, what comes to mind? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So why did they bring the name Saudi Arabia to, or Medina to Ghana? Mm. Uh, what happened is that uh, in 1964, uh, it started from 62. Uh, Ghanaians, you know, we have three religion, uh, three religion. Uh, we have Islamic religion, we have Christian religion, and then we have traditional religion. Our brothers and sisters from the Islamic 
uh, uh, religion uh, traveled to Mecca for Hajj. Yeah. And when they went, they were staying at a certain place and there was a flood, a heavy rain that really collapsed a lot of them, their houses. As a result of that, the government of the day, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah decided to move them from where they are. That time, all this place was a, a bush. So, sorry. <laughs> to move them from there and then settle them around this area so that the town will be opened. So the government built some low-cost houses for them, free of charge. So at the end of their hajj, when they came, they settled them here. The Ghanaians who went there settled at Medina. So they, when they came and settled here, whoever comes to this area said, I'm going to the people who came from Medina, the Medina people, where the Medina people are. Hence the name Medina, Medina, Medina. Currently, um, it is, this is an interesting area where Muslims and Christians are living in the same community and there is no problem. You will see a mosque here and you see a church here. Behind them, there's a traditionalist over there. <laughs> Ghana is an interesting country. And we, we intermarry. I've seen a lot of Muslims who have married Christians. I've seen Christians who have married Muslims, even traditionalists who have married. And then we all live peacefully. You want to be a Muslim. I want to be a Christian. My brother here is a Muslim. I'm a Christian. We, are, we, we talk. We do everything together. That doesn't mean that he is this and no no we, we are not we don't fight no during our festival we invite them now christians are celebrating christmas and there will be new year they participate in it when they get to their idifito idiada and all those things we also participate my best friend is a muslim he's a muslim when he get he invites me we sit down and eat we do things in common there is only one thing that we don't do in common we don't share wives <laughs> we don't share wise. That's what that's what I know. <laughs> but apart from that, we do things in common. So this is uh, Medina. Yeah.